Hey everyone, big day today, setting up the biogas plant. We unpack it all, fill it up with water, and then you have to let it sit for a day before you put your manure in to activate the system. Next door's got a whole bunch of horses, so we'll grab the manure off them later today and put that in tomorrow. So let's get into it. So we've got our lovely manure from next door, nice and fresh. We've got our water, we'll mix it together, make the slurry, pour it in. It's already getting hot so we need to hurry now. So we're all done. So quick recap, we've filled the tank up with water, we've checked it for leaks on the connections the next day, no leaks, good wind. We've mixed 100 litres of horse manure with 100 litres of water to make 200 litres of slurry, fed that into the system to activate it. It's been nice hot weather the last two days and we're expecting another week of warm weather so that should really kick it off with a good start. The user manual says that it takes to one to three weeks to start producing gas and filling up that top bellow. Um, so we'll just keep an eye on that. Overall, I've been pretty happy with the biogas system. I think its build quality is quite good. Uh, it was quite a painless assembly job. Um, nothing was damaged or missing in transit. Um, amazingly, they got it from Israel to Australia in three weeks in the current climate. I've got absolutely no idea how they pulled that off, but it's good. The only thing that's a bit funny at the moment, um, just the filter on the outfeed of the gas, um, I'm pretty sure is activated carbon. I'm going to email them and ask them and see what they come back with because obviously they want us to buy filters from them, but the idea of being self-sufficient or environmentally friendly doesn't really line up with me having to buy filters from Israel. Um, I'm sure we can manage something uh, to filter the gas locally. So. We'll see what they come back with um, and we'll go from there. 